Let's do our warm ups and see where we go from there. Shoulders back and down, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, get that low back supported, and reach your head to the ceiling. Spread your toes out, no gripping, and relax your arms. Take a moment, close your eyes, just focusing inward, getting your yoga perspective, noticing your breath. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale out to the front and clasp your hands behind you. Push them to the floor as you lift your heart and stretch. Spread your toes, pivot at your hips, exhale over. Lift your hands, drop your head, and just deepen into that spinal stretch along the back. Deep breath, exhale tension. And then bend your knees slightly and wind up from the bottom of the spine to the top. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and stretch your head back. Take a moment and breathe. And stretch. And then inhale upright, exhale, and release your arms. Take a moment, lengthening through the spine, just feeling that response internally. And then bring your arms again to shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way. So shift the fingers in one position over. Push them down as you lift your heart, feel that stretch across your chest, and then pivot at your hips coming over. Deepen as much as you like, getting that low back, stretching around, and breathe. And again, inhale, coming up with that chin just slightly in, knees slightly bent, and wind all the way up. Heart lifting, head stretching back, toes spreading out, and breathing. And then inhale, upright, release your arms. Just take a moment, feeling the spine. Side stretches, so bring your arms again to shoulder level. Spread your toes out, palms toward the ceiling hands over your shoulders. Pass and clasp, bring your arms back by your ears, and stretch up through the hands and the head, down with the sitting bones, and lean no twist to the side. Let that side open <clears throat> as your hip moves maybe slightly to the side, and your shoulders to the opposite side. Hips and shoulders face the front. Inhale, upright, and switch your hands. Arms by your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down. Stretch your head up and lean to the other side. Again, feel those ribs stretch apart as you push the foot you're leaning away from down. Feel the ribs stretch apart as much as they want. And don't forget to breathe. And then again, come on up. Keep the shoulders down as you release your arms. Take a moment feeling those sides a little more open and then opening the spine for our twist. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Arms next to your ears and stretch the spine apart, spread your toes out and turn to one side. Take a breath, pivot over. Just exhale into that position as deeply as you want, but keep the weight on both feet as much as possible. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms next to your ears, and again, in the twist, work your way up. Lift your heart, but remember, no pressure in your low back, maybe back bend. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. Take a breath or two. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms, balance everything out. And again, stretch things apart, turning to the opposite side. Take a breath, pivot over. And again, deepen as much as you want with your arms next to your ears and your weight on both feet. And inhale your way up in the twist and another upper body back bend. 
Take a moment, breathing, stretching, lifting only as much as you need. And then inhale, upright, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up, but your shoulders down into extended mountain. Take a moment there, just feel your body, spread your toes, get the weight on both feet evenly. And then sinking into our chair squat, push your sitting bones way back behind you. Make sure your knees don't go beyond your toes as you come into your squat. Keep your arms by your ears and your spine straight. And just squat as deeply as you want to go. Take a moment there. Exhale any tension. And then lift your sitting bones and drop into ragdoll. Just hang. Exhale, tension. And then bring your arms back by your ears and come back into your squat. Sitting bones are behind you. Your toes are not up beyond your toes. Your knees are not beyond your toes. And then keeping your arms there and your spine straight, come on all the way back up into standing and extended mountain. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Keep those cores working, supporting your low back. Everything nice and straight. Exhale any tension. And then swan dive, arms out, lead with your heart. And again, come on over into our dog. Sitting bones lifting, spine relaxing, tuck in your chin a little bit, pull your hands behind your legs and pull in maybe a little deeper. Get a good stretch. And then arms back to the center and just roll up from the bottom of your spine all the way into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, just feel your body a little bit more stimulated. Know what to notice what's working and what's challenging today. And then spread your toes on your balance foot for our balance challenge warm up. So lift your toes, get the ball of the foot down, heel down, the whole bottom of your rooted foot really connected to the earth. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. So make sure that you've rolled in at the top of the thigh to do that alignment not having anything or reaching out to the side. Sink into that foot, get that core activated for your low back support and bring your other foot up. So you can go a little or more or pull it up toward your chest as high as it wants to go. And when it's wherever you want it to be, you can circle your ankle. So find your balance, work your ankle. Don't forget to breathe. And then straighten things out before you put that foot back down, shifting to the opposite side. So again, lifting the toes, spreading them out, no gripping, that loses your support. Everything lined up, core supporting, shoulders relaxing, and sinking into that foot when you're ready, bring the other leg up. Don't cross it over, remember, make sure it's just going straight up as high as you want. And again, work your ankle, make sure we keep them flexible, and breathe. And again, straighten things out as you put that foot back down. Take a moment as you're in mountain pose, exhaling that balance stress, and move the shoulders back and down. Take a moment to focus inward, and bring your hands to your heart. So let's do a little wrist work. Just push your hands to one side. <clears throat> Feel the one wrist going a little backward. And then back straight up and to the other side. And back straight up. Tip the fingers forward. And back straight up. And then push your elbows out. Bring your fingertips toward you. And return to neutral prayer position. Take a moment there. And then lengthen through your spine. Bring your hands up and a little bit behind you. Take a moment there, looking at your thumbs, a little back bend. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart and release. 
<clears throat> bring your hands onto your back, heels of the palms up on your shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. And then push your palms into your low back for support. Bring your elbows toward each other. Feel the chest expand. And keeping the hips over your ankles, look up and push your head back. But remember, don't crunch your neck. So don't lift your chin. And just push back with the top of your head. Push those hands into supporting your low back. And let's back bend as deeply as you want to go in that supported version. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then chin toward your chest and come on back upright. Release your arms and just take a moment feeling that spine a little bit more activated. And then we're going to interlace our fingers and put them behind our head with the elbows straight out. So we did this back bend the other day. So turn to the side if you, you know, I'm turning to the side so you can see me. You don't have to turn to the side. Keep the toes facing the front, knees going toward your toes, everything straight. Activate your core and lift your heart just slightly, pushing the back of your head into your hands. And then take a breath in. And as you exhale, just let your head grow heavier into your hands. And just do that a few times, inhaling and exhaling, letting your body deepen a little further into the back bend with each exhalation. So breathing in and heavy as you exhale. Just letting your body deepen, hips stay over your ankles pretty much, and head just sinking back with each breath. As you get to your maximum point, just stay there breathing normally. Expanding your heart, relaxing your shoulders, pushing those elbows straight out to the sides, lifting your heart, letting your head be heavy. After a few breaths, tuck your chin toward your chest, coming back gently up. And again, into mountain pose. And as you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment feeling your body. And once more, hands to your heart. Inhale, follow them up. A little unsupported back bend as you pull those thumbs behind you, looking at them, lifting your heart. And swan dive forward. Pivot on over into rag doll. And then up into your halfway up stretch, hands on your shins, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Keep that chin slightly in. And then exhale, bend your knees, and come all the way to child pose on the floor. Hands next to your feet, palms up, forehead near your knees, just round your spine. A nice forward bend to counteract our little back bends. Take a moment there, breathing, just relaxing, tension. And then bring your arms to the front sides of the mat. We'll pivot up onto our bellies. So come on, hips down, roll all the way down. Just feel that whole spine work all the way down. Head to one side, hands, palms up at your sides, and shoulders down, resting crocodile. Feet hip width apart. Shoulders relaxed, and exhale, turn your head to the opposite side. So remember, when we're in resting crocodile, balance your neck, doing the same on each side. So bring your forehead to the floor. Bring your hands in near your face on the floor, palms down, elbows in toward your waist. And we're going to do a little sphinx cobra. So inhale, face forward, crown toward the ceiling. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, tuck the chin back toward your chest, and then push your chest forward and up. And remember, your arms don't support you in these positions. It's your spine doing the work. So another back bend, pulling those elbows sort of toward your hips and in toward your waist. As you let your chest go forward and up, Chin in so that back of the neck keeps stretching, remember. 
and lift that head as high as it wants to go, but don't overwork your low back. So if it's feeling like your low back is working too hard, go lower. You don't ever need to do anything that doesn't feel right for your body. Take a moment there, just lifting your heart forward and up and stretching your spine. Exhale, bring your forehead back down toward the mat. Just take a moment there and relax. And then bring your hands slightly more under your shoulders. We're going to go up into a full cobra. So forehead on the floor, hands slightly under your shoulders, elbows in toward your sides. Inhale, look to the front, and bring the crown up. Tuck your chin back, and a little pressure in your hands, but not too much. You want the spine to do most of the work. If you bring your hands up off the floor, you can check how that's working for your spine. Bring your hands back down and maybe go a little higher if that works. Just doing what's right for your back, your body. Feet are hip width apart, lower body doing nothing. Just sinking evenly into that earth surface. Take a moment breathing, chest forward and crown high. And then tuck your chin slightly, exhale, bring your forehead back down. And again, as you get all the way down, just take a moment there, breathe and relax. You can move your arms around if you want and release any tension in those. And we're going to do that one more time. So again, hands slightly under your shoulders. The further back, remember your hands go, the more into the low back your cobra is going to be. So don't bring them too far back. Inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck that chin, make sure it's stretching the back of your neck. Chest forward and up, maybe a little pressure in the hands for that cobra. Lengthen through your whole spine. And we're doing a little twist. So exhale and turn, looking toward one side. That hip will come up slightly as you turn your hips, ribs, and shoulder toward the side you're turning toward. Lower body does nothing. We're just doing a little mini twist here. Don't go too far. Take a breath. And remember, not a lot of pressure in those hands. Don't be working too hard. Exhale, turn back to the center. Lengthen through the crown. Drop those shoulders, chest forward. We're twisting to the other side. So again, the hip you're turning toward lifts a little bit. As the hips, ribs, and shoulder turn toward that opposite side. And again, don't use your hands too much. Just let them guide you in your position. Take a moment and breathe, stretching it out. And then exhale back to the center. Again, lift that chest, crown high, chin still back toward your chest slightly. And exhale, bring the forehead down. And as the forehead gets all the way down, just relax. Relax through your arms. You can move them again if you need to. And then hands under your shoulders, pressing into them, coming back into extended child pose. The arms are right in front. And just relax, head toward the floor. Round your spine, feel it working in that forward bend where it was back bending. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale, sitting up, and let's come into staff position with the legs out in front. So allow your <clears throat> heels to push out, toes pulling back, knees straight up, shoulders over your hips, core supporting your low back, and crown toward the ceiling. And just take a moment feeling your body, relaxing your shoulders, stretching your spine. And let's just warm up the hips a little bit. So bring your foot up to your opposite thigh and let the knee come down. So a little weight maybe with your hands on that knee to give it a little incentive to be a little bit more relaxed down. But remember, don't push. That adds pressure and we don't want pressure. We just want relax and stretch. 
and release. If you want to move that front leg over to the side, remember that opens it a little bit more easily through your hips and pelvis. So do that if you want. Exhale, <clears throat> just let that hip have a little release. And then put that hand on your knee and ankle. No, yeah, whatever. <laughs> or clasp your arms around your leg and move that back and forth. Feel the outside of your hip getting a little more lubricated. Stay there or make it more intense, higher or closer if you love it. But don't do that if it's wrong for your hip. And then release that leg and feel the difference. Remember, our yoga is noticing those things going on internally. And bring the other foot up because we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, a little weight if you want, just letting that knee relax down. Knee and toes up, whether the leg is straight to the front or slightly further to the side, up to you. Take a breath. As you exhale, feel everything release even more, going deeper into that position. If your leg is ready, if it's not, then don't worry about it, just let it relax. Always personal practice, doing what's right for your body in that position. And again, as that thing gets a little bit more relaxed and released, we'll bring the foot and knee into your hands or pulling it in and rotating side to side. Feel your body getting a little bit more outside of the hip work going there. Breathe into it and relax. Stay there or go more intensely if you love it. And again, just release. Take a moment there, breathing, exhaling tension. I'm going to do a little roll down. So just a bowing practice. Pull those sitting bones behind you. Keep the feet out, pressing out through the heels. And we're just going to start with the chin coming toward the chest and roll all the way. Bring the spine around as you come down, bringing the forehead down toward your leg. Go only as deeply as it wants to go. Exhale any tension. And then starting at the bottom of your spine, we're going to roll back up. So as if there's a wall behind you, just the low back goes onto the wall. And then the ribs and the shoulder blades and the shoulders. And finally, your head comes back up. And we'll do that one more time. Just rounding gently down and forward. Bowing slowly, feeling those ribs go in. And the head come deeper. And then pushing the low back back above your hips, and then your ribs and your shoulder blades and your shoulders, and back up into your seated position. Take a moment, stretch the spine. And as you exhale, bring one hip into the outside of the leg and the other arm out in front. Exhale and follow that hand behind you. Bring it close to your body on the floor, coming into the twist. So your hips, ribs, and shoulder are turning into the twist. If you love a twist, you can press into that thigh just gently and deepen with your whole body turning, exhaling any tension. Remember, let those sitting bones move around a little bit as you move into your twist so you're not overworking that low back. Stretch up through the crown, exhale. Keep stretching up, bring the arm back to shoulder level, and follow it back to the center. Release the hands and feel that spine with that twist energy through it. And bring your other hand to your leg and arm out at shoulder level. Stretch up, exhale, follow that other hand into your twist. Bring the hand close to your body on the floor, stretch up, exhale, let the hips move around as you turn. Hips, ribs, and shoulder deepening into the twist. Press out through those heels, pull those toes back in front. Let your whole spine be in the twist behind you. 
Take a breath, deepen as much as you like. Again, you can push a little bit into the thigh if you love it, but don't do that if that's not right for your spine. Take a breath, exhaling, deepening as much as you like. And then again, the hand comes up to shoulder level behind you and you follow it to the center. Take a moment feeling that twist energy as you bring your feet to the end of the mat so that we can do our roll down onto the floor. So as you come all the way down, just take a moment there and relax. Take your hands next to your palms down, slightly under your hips. Bring your elbows in toward your sides. And then sitting bones down toward the floor, tuck your chin. And we're going to roll all the way up onto our elbows and look at our toes. So your upper body's up off the floor. You're on your forearms, hands, and elbows. And your chest is up. Your head is up. Lift your chin slightly, but not too much. Keep stretching your neck, and then tip the top of your head down towards the floor. Another little fish back bend this time. If you can get all the way to the floor with your head, that's fine. Top of your head on the floor, chest lifting. If you can do that, you can bring your hands out into prayer position on your chest. But otherwise, stay on your elbows and don't bring your head all the way down. Take a moment, lifting your heart, feeling the back bend. And then if you're on your head and your hands are up, bring the hands back down to the floor, elbows into your sides. Lift up onto your elbows, lifting your head, chin towards your chest. And again, starting at the bottom of the spine, just put your whole spine back onto the floor. Shoulders down, exhale tension. Arms to T position, palms up or down, sitting bones toward your heels, and bring your heels in right next to your sitting bones. Back, pressing down, feet off the floor, and a little knee twist over to one side, turning your head toward the opposite side. Take a breath, just relax. And then heels toward your hips, onto your back, and rotate to the other side with those knees, turning your head the opposite direction. One final little twist. Take a breath, just relax. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, feet to the floor, sliding out. Relax your lower body, relax your shoulders down, hands, palms up near your side. Coming into corpse position for our final relaxation. Take a moment to bring those toes together. Relax your legs just into a neutral position. Hands, palms up. Bring those shoulders down. Let the whole spine lengthen along the floor. Up through the base of the skull. And move your head just gently side to side. Letting that come to a neutral position. And relax. So your whole body just softening and sinking into that surface beneath you. Exhaling any tightness. Relaxing through the hips, through the spine. Lots of back work today. Let that whole torso soften and sink. Deep breath in. Just exhale, let your body go. As you release your body into that earth, the thoughts of your body release from your awareness. Breathing deep, just relaxing, letting the mind float as freely as your breath. Not thinking of anything, just letting thoughts of your body go. Any other thoughts coming to you, let them go as well. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention to the content of the thoughts to let them go. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let your mind empty as easy as your breath breathe in your lungs. Now as you breathe deep, exhale and 
thoughts flowing freely, and the body sinking gently. Just allow your awareness to turn inward to the peace within. And take a few moments being peace. With that relaxation today feels super good, just keep relaxing. I think it's time to get ready for the rest of the day. Begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the moment, to your body. As you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you to breathe. Breathe and stretching, moving around. Open your ankles and your neck. And when you're ready for that final yoga for the appreciation, sitting arms toward your heels, back gently pressing down. Draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your feet. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. When you have enough appreciation and hug, bring your head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.